I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. This is an outrage! I'll see that you never work in this sector again! Yeah, yeah, get a move on. Shepard, Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Welcome to part two of this episode. Still don't have a name for this episode, though. I am starting to think and know what I want to title Where this. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. Okay, so we don't have anybody who can decrypt anything. I absolutely slacked and didn't bring somebody who is good with uh, decryption as far as this goes. So we're just going to talk to a couple people and see where the next round takes us. What? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestiae Alice from the University of Arraeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Sorry, I'll leave. Nothing too special, nothing too important as far as this goes. Got a medical kit. Let's see what Dr. Palin's going on. What? No! Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. How are you holding up? 
It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. I definitely will. Now, that's actually kind of foreshadowing something very important. Now, if we had something to decrypt, if we had opened that door right there, this little fun fact, we'd have gotten shot up. No way around it. Got a smoke? We're all out. No, don't got to smoke. I don't smoke at all. See what the what's going on in the quarantine and barracks here. Somebody's got to be sick. I don't think what's going on here is contagious. If I remember at least, and I know that's a bit of a spoiler alert. Is this where we came from? I don't remember coming through here. Oh, yeah. Okay, look, here's Hanalar. This is the guy we gotta talk to later. There's a scientist, an aid station for Metagel. Door controls locked and closed. Let's talk to the scientist real quick. Maintenance area is closed. I feel like I should have gone somewhere. I used to have nightmares like this. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know? I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the Hot Labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Dr. Zonmua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. But the specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. So we learned about the Rachni, that's what they are. And that's ultimately the name of this episode if you have not already been kind of following the patterns that we've been following. So, found out about the Rachni, we talked to Hanolar. I think this section in the back is closed out for us the maintenance area yes sir it is so we got to go all the way around and kind of go from there there's something interesting about this episode that i should give you guys a warning of cover your ears in one two three the decision we're going to make is going to impact the story for mass effect two or three i haven't gotten far enough so that where it impacts the story but nevertheless, it is something that I wanted to mention because the decision I'm going to make might influence that a little bit. I already went through through the quarantine, the quarantine, not quarantine. Um, you go to the medical bay next. Only the more logical route that we need to go ahead and take. I feel like we've already gone here. I mean, it feels like this whole thing is on a loop. Oh, I've not been here. 
Okay. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. What'd she do? Did absolutely nothing. This system is online and ready to provide. We don't need it. Very anything. well, Commander. Yep. Logging you out. We'll talk to Dr. Zev Cohen. What, what? What do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. Do you want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Is there a cure, Doctor? A treatment? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. They've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Are you the doctor here? I'm our doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Yeah, me too. We'll be able to figure it out. Hopefully this is an onslaught like the one planet we visited recently. I'm really bad with planet names and names in general. Working on it though. Now, we need to visit the quarantine and the barracks one more time we're gonna hit this up we're gonna talk to that captain person or whatever they are there he is something you need i've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab i'd like to recover the toxin cure god i wish we could help those guys i really do but we can't risk contamination now dr cohen says there's no risk of contamination all right you want to gamble with your life you're not under my command I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. If that's the only way you'll let us in, I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Yeah. Let's go. Always prepare weapons, just in case you never, ever know what's going to happen oh wait this is the wrong way what am i doing what am i doing here don't ask me oh we, we do gotta go back i need to go to the quarantine that's right yeah because we got to make a cure for those people should be able to do it no biggie it's not contagious we should be fine maybe we should swap somebody out for ashley that way we can start decrypting things here and there so yeah, so we... Where is it? The hot labs? You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis' permission to go in there. 
Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's what we gotta do. I wasn't picking up my input for some reason. Your mission ends here, Shepard. What the hell? You're a sleeper agent for Venezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Okay. Yo, lady, do your thing. There you go. Thank God. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my shotgun? We gotta build this girl up. There you go. Oh, that wasn't you. Should be able to kill her from here. She's the last one. Headshot zone. There you go. Golly. That was more trouble than I thought it'd be. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Um, they came out of there. That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Made him repeat that twice to us, but that's fine. Poor dude. Surprised no one else took a hit. And one, one guy paid. Okay, so we gotta go back to the medical bay. We gotta return the cure, and we need to get access to the maintenance area. And that's when the story will start to build a little bit more. So far, not a whole lot of action on this episode. But I promise, we're, we're gonna get there. We gotta go to the medical bay, which is here. And then we go downstairs and go there. That's why that exclamation point is down there. Here's the doctor. Is that the cure? You did it? I think so. It was hard to concentrate while dodging gunfire. You were attacked? I, I, I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... <laughs> God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? That's what I'm here for. Forget about it. I need to administer this. Thanks again. We don't need any Metagel or anything like that, so we'll let him keep what he can to heal everybody up. That gives us plus 24 Paragoon. Which means that I should have another charm. And I do, so we're gonna update that. Real quick. Okay, now we go back. Lots of going back and forth here. And we're gonna hit up the, um, the maintenance room at the bottom or on the back downstairs. You guys know what I mean. We'll see what's going on. So we're back downstairs and we're gonna go into the maintenance room, which is where? Back here? Yes, indeed. Can't get into the storage locker. Okay, here we are. Looks like a cavern. And it looks like a good place for Geth to pop up and start shooting at us. You could already see a red dot. Let's see what that is. It's a Rachni. Rachni soldier. There you go. Feel bad killing these things, I really do. It's you hit with circle or B. I forgot to do that. Okay. 
Probably more Rachni over here. There's not. Got into the hot laps from here. Let's see what's going on. There she is. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. Your insolence is a poor mask for your fear. clutch with her bio with her uh, biotic weapons bionic biotic you know what I'm trying to say more geth beautiful Venezia's power level is increasing a little bit where are the geth gotta be here somewhere right There's more sorry commando Hey! Gotta get some meta gel. Oh, come on. We got Geth? Okay, gotta recharge our shield real quick. Should be some easy kills with these um, Geth. Geth soldiers or troopers. Same thing, trooper soldier. There you go. There's got to be another one. Where is it? Oh, behind the crate. I got it. The sniper. There's probably more Geth and more commandos. And a destroyer. How beautiful. Okay. There you go. Those are gone. Don't let these things... No, I was here first. Yeah, there you go. Go over there. Okay, the shock trooper doesn't scare me. Except when it launches the rockets. Are those all alive? They definitely are. And they're snipers, with the exception of one. Wow. <laughs> Lovely Ara, she's amazing. Venezia's power level is extremely low, so we might be able to start shooting at her. Oh no, we can't. Hi, buddy. Oh, you think that shield protects you there? How cute. Yeah, great job. Yeah. There's one more get. Hiding behind the crate. Got his butt. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Start talking, Venezia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. We met Shiala on Ferris. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. 
It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Can I assume you found the coordinates? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should... You should... Oh, you should... Mother, I... Don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Yeah, that's how it says. You should be easy. Oh, snap. What the heck happened to all three of us? We're all purple now. It's okay. We got the better handgun. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother! Good night, good wing. I will see you again with the dawn. Mother, They always said there would be a... May she rest in peace. Okay. See how she feels. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are 
colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, I don't trust this thing. We know it's kind or killers. The tank is rigged with acid. I recommend using it. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, Perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place. The last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. There's a reason their kind were hunted to extinction. It's better to be safe than let a dangerous race loose. I'd like to have the Rachni on our side in the future. If you can trust them to stay there. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. I think we made the right choice. Considering the war that we're in, in the game at least, I think it's a very uh, uh, prominent choice. I would like to use them as an ally. I hope we can use them as an ally. I never played Mass Effect 2 or 3. I've actually never played Mass Effect 3. I've never played Mass Effect 2 long enough to really find out what happens with this. Now, sadly, we gotta kill some of her children. There's the hot labs. Gotta go through the hot labs. Right? 
That's what we gotta do. We're gonna go upstairs. No, no, this is downstairs. Who is this guy? I don't remember him. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. Do you understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. I'm not sure I would qualify this as a miracle. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near the start. That was a brutal scene. That was a brutal sequence. Yeah, so there's a bomb we got to defuse now. The Neutron Purge. And we got to go from here. Can Mina help us? Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. I don't know how we would have gotten that code. Or what. Oh, he has the purge codes. Yeah, all we gotta do is go back. If I would have investigated his body sooner, that would have been a lot easier for us. Who's in the back, Ashley? Yep. Got stuck. Online, how can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Yeah. Let's have fun. We're having a lot of fun with this. Yo, did we just die? Literally, after I said on the last episode that we have not died. Okay, here's what we gotta do. I'm gonna equip the thunder. You ladies start blasting these things. Things go for she 
shields. That's the hard part. Because that they don't care about the shields. A lot of them. Too much of them, actually. Got a blast them. There's a lot of them. We gotta get going. Fire in the hole. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, there's no getting through to them. Let's go. I guess we can kill that one for experience. Holy smokes, did you guys see all those red dots on the map? No wonder we died. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, the elevator is absolutely dead here. Did we go the right way? I'm just swinging it. I don't know if we're going the right way. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going the right way, but... Yeah, it's been so long since we've played Mass Effect 1, not even gonna lie. So I don't remember where to go off the top of my head. I remember sequences, I remember events. That's it. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Let's go talk to a couple people. And then we'll move on to the next episode, possibly. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I've got broad shoulders. I have no doubt about that. But can they carry the weight of an entire galaxy? If we don't stop Saren... No. Never mind. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Just thought we'd check on her. There was nobody else to talk to, so... Uh, Liara was actually very clutch on that mission, not even gonna lie. Not only was she clutch, she went through a lot of emotional trauma. I mean, she watched her mom die. She watched me blast her in the head. And that was, uh... Yeah. Brings feelings. Let's go ahead and open up our galaxy map. And we're gonna go from here. So the next destination that we got to hit up is actually going to be Vermeer. We've already hit up Pharos. We've got to hit up Vermeer. 
And you know what? We're actually going to call it an episode here. I'm simply going to go ahead and travel to the system. officially left um, whatever planet we were just in. But that's going to be it for this episode. The next episode is going to be super fun as well. We got Vermeer. There should be a little bit more action on this episode. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel for another episode of um, Mass Effect. Leave a like. It's your boy Daddy Mac. We're going to hit up Vermeer next. We'll see you guys. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? I applaud you, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here.